how to scale your business. Well, in that case, you need a target operating model. So what is a target operating model or TOM? Well, a target operating model is a high level business strategy, which is used to actually plan how to implement your business vision or mission. Now, the simplest form of a target operating model involves just three parts, and that is people, processes, and technology. What people, processes, and technology does your business need to accomplish its desired high level goal? Now, target operating models can be as complicated or as simple as you like, and this really does depend upon your business, your industry, your business model, and of course, your business size. A large organization such as Microsoft will have a very complicated target operating model if we compare that to, let's say, a small business, which might just have a target operating model based purely off their own gut instinct. Here's a simple example from one of our travel clients. So they wish to increase their traffic by four times. We figured out through analyzing their metrics that they would need to hire more people. So on the people side, they would need to recruit three times more travel writers and hire two more SEO marketers. Now for the process side, they would need to onboard these new writers effectively and also have an efficient process which is proven to actually work for both writing the blog posts, analyzing the blog posts and getting the blog posts edited and of course published. Now in business speak, that is called a standard operating procedure or SOP. So we developed a variety of these SOPs for the company to help them to then scale with a proven, reliable and efficient process. Then finally, we have the technology. So that's the platform which all this will sit on top and will actually enable the company to reach their goal. This could be WordPress for publishing. It could be a software development platform such as Atlassian for developing software. It could be a marketing platform, a CRM platform such as HubSpot to monitor all the customer data and also publish and schedule social media posts. Now to further see how a target operating model fits within the entire business ecosystem, here's a pyramid from Deloitte. So at the top of the pyramid, you have your vision and strategy. This is usually set by the CEO or the board of directors. They decide what is this overarching mission and vision that they want to accomplish and their goals. So for example, with a company like Tesla, their vision actually is to accelerate the world's transition towards renewable energy. But underneath that, they also have their mission and their goals. So for example, this could be to increase the number of sales for their vehicles and also to reduce the manufacturing cost of their cars in order to make the product have more mass appeal. So to accomplish those goals, they have their target operating model, which involves people, it involves recruiting the best of the best people to build the different technologies and software for the Tesla vehicles. They have processes, for example, building these giant Tesla gigafactories from scratch all over the world and having efficient manufacturing processes in order to accomplish the desired manufacturing goals. And then third and finally, they have technology. So what technology do they need to accomplish this? And in Tesla's case, this can often be developing new technology themselves from scratch and innovating. For example, they created the world's largest metal press, the Giga Press, to actually create their vehicles and actually improve their efficiency of their manufacturing. And they're also pioneering in various areas such as autonomous vehicles. Now this goes on to organizational design. How many managers do you have? How many line managers? How many people will report to each manager? What is the structure? Is it hierarchical structure or do you have more of a flat structure? Is it remote working or do you want people on site? Is it a hybrid work style? What's the organizational design? And then you have key KPIs or a North Star metric which the organization can analyze to see if they are moving towards their goal. For example, if a company like Facebook now called Meta Platforms, one of their key KPIs is monthly active users for the Facebook platform. If that starts to decline, then that is a real issue for the company, which did happen recently and the stock fell off a cliff. Now, one of the big four accounting firms, KPMG, also has a more detailed target operating model. So they look at functional processes, people, service delivery model, technology, performance, insights, and data, and governance. And really, they break each of these down with individual questions which you can ask in order to help develop and form this target operating model. So that's today's video, guys. A target operating model is a key element to any large organization and is really necessary if you plan to scale your business. 
Now, if you're sitting there now and you're thinking, Ben, that sounds fantastic, but you need help with your business strategy or marketing, then feel free to reach out to us. You can use the contact form, which you can link to on the website, or you can use our email, socialgenie at europe.com. With that being said, I hope you guys have an incredible day. If you did find value, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel, which you can simply do by hitting the subscribe button for more digital tips, tricks, and hacks to help grow your brand or business. With that being said, from the bottom of my heart, I hope you guys all have an incredible day, and I'll see you in our next video. Keep growing.